What is going on guys, Review Side J and welcome back to a brand new video and today it's time for the first part of something new once again. It's time for the second let's play on this channel. Bully's now finished, we finished Bully and now we're going to something completely different. Now get off that screen, go back onto the one I wanted, there we go. Uh, basically this is the start of Frillville Off The Rails. Now this is something completely different, and basically it's yeah it's completely different to Bully. Um, a lot of you guys wanted to see this let's play as opposed to Grid Two, and I'm more than happy to do this. Um, and there will be two episodes per week, um, so one on a Saturday and like usual with Bully on a Tuesday. So Saturday will be up at 4 p.m. British time, and the uh, Tuesday one will be up 7 p.m. Uh, so yeah, two episodes per week. That sound good? So anyway, um, let's. I thought it was just going to show me a cutscene then, but anyway, let's go straight to a new game. Basically, this is kind of like Roller Coaster Tycoon, but just a Roller Coaster Tycoon that is console-based and a little bit better. Um, anyway, let's just pick our character. Who do I? Uh, let's go. Oh yeah, I remember who I used to go with Lane, lovely little Lane. Um, but obviously we need to edit him because that looks nothing like. To be fair. Um, the hair kind of shit. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Um, well. Um, let's just go with it. We could, um, yeah, we'll go with that one. Um, yeah. Uh, clothing. I don't like the clothing. Uh, yeah, we're in America, I think, so, you know, whatever. Uh, well, where's so Oh my god, this looks so bad. Uh, yeah, we'll go full red at the bottom, uh, and at the bottom, yeah, we'll wear that, I'm happy with that. Uh, first off, edit name, so I am now the, I'm now the, if you like, manager of the park, and my name is obviously Toby, so uh, let's finish this, and then, let's start the game. This year, we'll be unveiling our all-new Whoa Coasters. These outrageous new coasters can only be found at... Thrillville! Uh, using my patented mortifier technology, they'll uh, 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 push the limits of fun and excitement. <laughs> oh, hey, kid. I'm glad you're here. Thrillville is getting bigger than ever, and you're just the person to run the show. As park manager, you'll have to build lots of coasters and attractions and ride rides and talk to people and play games and have an absolutely incalculable amount of fun. We made a great team foiling the evil corporation Globo Joy last year. And I know we can outsmart them again. Just keep your eyes open for anything suspicious. Excuse me. Well, I've got more wall coasters to perfect. You get started at Thrillville Stunts, and we'll talk when you get there. I promise to not use so much rocket fuel next time. Welcome to Thrillville Stunts, your new home for thrills, chills, and also spills. This place already has a lot of rides, games, and coasters built in. So go have fun and make it your own. But watch out for those nasty critics. For some reason, they've been giving this park bad reviews. While you're getting to know your way around, try to find out what they're up to. Everything you do in the park creates thrills. Yeah, 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 whatever. I think it's Mortimer. Uh, basically, yeah. Just to sum up that cutscene, pretty much Mortimer is our uncle, I think. And then we come and own the park. Now, in this game, there are five part. There are five different missions. You've got build missions, manage missions, guest missions, upkeep missions, and games missions. Uh, we're going to start in Frillville Stunts. And for the sake of this Let's Play... Uh, are we going to skip? Okay, we'll just do the tutorial for now, just to, just for the sake of this let's play. Um, so first, let's go into upkeep. Your staff will keep things running while you're busy with other projects. They keep Thrillville in tip-top shape. Mechanics fix and maintain rides. Groundskeepers keep the garbage under control. And entertainers cheer up the crowds. Staff will start working as soon as you hire them. But they'll do much better with training. And training at Thrillville is a hands-on situation. You'll help your staff get more efficient by pitching in and showing them how it's done. To hire... Cool. Um, so we've got to, got to just hire some staff. Um, and yeah. Oh, I didn't even know what that mission was. 
Um, but perform the correct action when the icon is within the target circle for a good score. This is cheerleading, I think. Now, I think I'm going to have to mute the game at the moment, I think. Um, so let's mute it on here as well. Oh, God, this is getting embarrassing already. Um, basically, I think this song that's on here and all the other cheerleader songs are uh, copyrighted. So I don't particularly want to get a copyright notice or a copyright strike for that matter. Um, but basically, yeah, it's a bit of a combo game. And while we're doing this, let me just sum up basically what this is all about. Um, so I, I decided to do Frillville because A, you guys wanted to see it. And B, I've been looking around YouTube overall and there aren't that many Let's Plays of Frillville. So this is definitely a game that I can do and hopefully... I can make the best, best Let's Play that's on YouTube so far. Um, and this game came out just after Bully, I think, or just before. I know it came out in 2007. I think Bully came out in 2008. I might be wrong there. Uh, but yeah, you know, th th this is just going to be more, really more of a chilled out Let's Play because we have to build roller coasters. So quite a lot of the stuff will be off screen action, like basically building the roller coasters you don't want to be seeing me do all that but as I, as I showed you just back there there are five different types of missions all the missions I can't think what they're called but basically yeah you just have five different types of missions and this is the first part we start up the Frillville stunts which is the first part there's five parks overall and we've got and in this part there are three different parts of the park and we've done that pretty easy so we've succeeded with 86,534 of the score um, yeah, so as as uh, Mortimer or whatever his name said, we've just got to we've just got to get these people and the staff trained, and I'll, I'll tell you something. Even the work at Thrillville is a game, and now you also see how important it is to take a direct hand in operating your park. Okay, cool. So the upkeep f uh, tutorial's gone. And I'll be honest, the re I, I'm just, I just don't know what to say because at the moment I've completely forgotten everything about Frillville. So, are your bread and butter. As park manager, one of your jobs will be to get to know them. You can talk to any guest by approaching them and pressing the A button. Then select the guest you want to talk to from the list shown. You may want to just chat or ask them for park feedback. This will help you find out what's good and bad about your park. You can give them gifts, or even challenge them to an exciting game of who knows what. Or why not play Cupid for somebody else? If the matchmaker option is available, you can take over any of your buddies and go find them somebody to love. You can access your My Crowd list anytime from the main menu, but more on that later. For now, let's do the first guests mission. Okay, so the first guest mission is Happy Talking, before we even start pressing A. But basically, as you can see, this is kind of like the mission's uh, hood, if you like. And as you see, the first mission is mission, sorry, is Happy Talking, so let's do that. So let's talk to Sammy Dewey. So, hello, hello. Uh, the park's totally cool, that's nice, that's good to know. Um, let's speak to him just generally. Um, what are we going to talk about? Let's talk about, um, let's just have some chat. Why are the rides always broken? Who's fixing the machines? Broken rides are dangerous. I really hate whining customers. They're so annoying. Anyway, uh, how are you? Yeah, that's more of a nice question. Um, and what about favourite hobbies? Collot comic books, that's nice enough. Um, what else? I don't like waiting for rides. Good, with friends, uh, teeth. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, oh, shame. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, can we just, oh, come on. Oh, that's nice. Um, good vocabulary. Yeah, okay. I don't get it. Okay. You're so lucky that you can still qualify for youth discount. Thanks. Huh, <laughs> lol. Uh, what else? Yeah, let's, let's just go out of that. We've done a mission for that. Fun, wasn't it? Talking to people is going to tell you a whole lot about how well your park is doing. Right, sorry, Mortimer, I'm going to have to, I'm just going to have to interrupt you because all this talking, I mean, you guys can see the subtitles on the screen and you can gather it for yourself. But as you can see, we've got two, uh, yeah, we've got three, even, uh, columns of light and we, oh God, um, right, oh well, that is some speed running. That is some running, all right. Uh, next, let's go to manage. So, managing basically, yeah, your park's in good shape, where two things are healthy, guest happiness, 
and profit. To be honest, money's never really an issue. So doing stuff like advertisements, promotions, it doesn't really matter because if you, to be fair, the money's always there, so it doesn't really matter. But anyway, might as well just do this. So what the overview screen, as you can see here, just gives us an overall overview of what's happening. So yeah, we've got all kinds of park information and all that stuff. So media mocha run any marketing campaign um let's just do it in the newspaper so yeah we've done that and that was easy enough so yeah that's the uh, manage purple pinky whatever you want to call it done right next one we've got two left um next one we'll do build so yeah now that we're in charge one of the most important jobs to build rides and stalls in the park because as you can see especially to the left the park is a little bit bland and as you can may be able to see this ride that we're looking at now is broken. Uh, so yeah, they've got build zones just here, not obviously on top of them people, that'd be pretty painful. But there are build zones for carnival rides, games and stalls. So if I want to build something, walk into one of those zones and press A. So every attraction requires power in order to run. And the meter on the left shows you how much power each section of your park has left. Pay attention to it. So let's start the next, the first even build mission. Uh, so we've got to build a tank frenzy apparently, this is how it will work. So if you want to build something then um, you get it and then ideally because oh I, don't, oh I don't want to build on top of them people. Obviously if it's facing that way then there's not really much point. Uh, actually no, that is that the entrance? Um, let's just have it facing that way. Yeah, okay. So we built that and that's build gone. So yeah, we let's talk about roller coasters. Let's do that Mortimer. To build one, select coaster from the build menu or walk up to any coaster stand and take it from there. I'll be there to help. Oh, and you'll just love some of the crazy new wow coaster pieces I'm designing. <laughs> These coasters do things that people never thought possible. <laughs> Amazing. After you've placed down attractions, don't forget to paint and style them to look just the way you want them to. Cool. Um, so that's build gone. Next one and the final uh, like tutorial is for games. So let's go and do games, shall we? I'll for good. I keep thinking it's A to run, and then you can bloom and do sleep super speed by pressing B. Games will involve playing games and riding the rides. <laughs> yes, I know it's tough being a park manager, but <laughs> well, someone's got to do it. You can play every game and ride every ride yourself by walking up to it and pressing the A button, and then selecting play from the context menu. Let's try the first games mission. Okay, so we've got to play Stunt Rider. Now, if you've ever played this game, this is quite frustrating. Um, right, let's go. Let's go. Oh my god, I haven't played this. This just this just makes you know how long you haven't played this game for when you're playing stuff like this. This is basically one of the 50, I believe, looking on the Frillville wiki. Uh, that is from there. So if I've got that wrong, then that's wiki's fault. Um, but yeah, oh, oh we got a... Uh, from the Frillville wiki, apparently there's 50 mini games. Just like this, you can scatter around your park. So we've done the first level. To get gold on this, we need to do the up to uh, level three. Now, I can't think what... There's something like an iPad game or something that's like this. I can't think what it's called. Ow. Ow. Get up. Yeah, there, there's something like an iPad game, I think. Something. Like, I can't think what it's called now. It's really annoying. Um, oh, well. It, it's something... It, oh. I don't know. Anyway, let's just continue with this mini game. Yeah, I mean, the game's part for me. It might be the funniest for some people, but it's one of the most... I mean, riding roller coasters, okay, pretty cool. But playing the games for me, I might seem a bit boring, but this is actually the most boring part. Um, oh, ow. Ow. Uh, this is the most boring part for me of the Frillville game because... Well, the mini games, that's for people at the park to play. You're a park manager at the end of the day. I'd rather be spending my time, um, if you'd like, doing some of the manage missions and making the park look a bit better. Ow! When the park does look good, um, and like I say, we've got some nice attractions, then we can focus on playing some mini games. I'm not. I'm fine with that. Oh my god! Oh my god! Come on! We can. We can play it. Ow! No, you know what? I'm just going to exit. Yeah, I can't do it. I can't do Stunt Rider. Well, we've got a bronze in that, so that's all the tutorials done. Congratulations, kid. You've taken your first steps to becoming a fantastic theme park manager. Just remember that everything in the park is related. The guests help you decide what rides to open. The rides will bring in cash, and the cash will help you buy things to keep the guests happy. Get it? 
So now, let your creative juices flow. You've got games to play, people to meet, and theme parks to build. Go! Uh, cool, so it's all from here now, and as you can see, uh, there's some sick on the floor. So first off, let's go to park uh, staff. And we've got one groundskeeper. Um, and what we're going to do, we're going to train him first because there's a lot of sick on the floor. And you don't want to see that. Anyway, let's tidy up. Let's tidy all this up. So, these are all mini games, which is quite cool. Um, even though I said I don't like the mini games. For this sort of stuff, I don't mind. Oh my god, how do I do this? Um, I've completely forgot how to do it. Uh, controls. Oh, that's fine. It was RB. Okay, 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 okay. And basically, the further that these guys are trained, and it's quite good because I know I played a little bit of Roller Coaster Tycoon, and you don't actually get to train the people as in um, interactively on that game. This is more, very much more interactive and rewards you kind of what are you doing. But this Let's Play, I must admit, um, it's going to be probably a little bit of a slow start because that's just the way it is with some things. And uh, because I haven't got much to talk about at the moment, I'm struggling. I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try and persevere. I think the first few parts, it'll start a bit slow because this game's probably, it's not story based as such. It relies on you to, um, oh cool, we've done it. It relies on you to actually do the missions yourself rather than be pushed into the missions if you get me. Um, so yeah, we've trained the groundskeeper. Um, I'm satisfied with that at the moment. Um, and we can sort some of that out later. Anyway, um, so basically, this game relies on you doing mi Oh, hello. Um, this game relies on you doing missions. And as uh, the the doodah, uh, Mortimer said, there are five different types of missions. So we've got build games, guest upkeep, and manage. And as you can see, the little, um, what's it called, the bar shows you how far you're in. So we've done media mogul. Um, so what we need to do now, we'll probably do build... Yeah, we can just do coaster to go. This is quite easy. Um, so let's just get a pre-built roller coaster. Um, yeah, let's put. Let's just get countdown. I don't know where we're going to put it actually. Um, no, let, let's not. Let, let's repair what's there already. I think because I, I think that's a mission, um, if I remember. And well, I say repair this. Should we just ride it to just see what's going on? Yeah, so uh, a slight problem with that roller coaster there. Um, if we try, oh hello! Congratulations! You've just collected enough thrills to earn your first park manager award. Oh, and building up thrills opens new parks, and you can always check your progress by going to your HQ. Keep up the good work. So that was quick. Um, believe me, it does get it does get harder. As you can see, um, they do get new park owner levels, and to finish the game, you need to do all these levels. So we've done level one, and the further we move up the levels, obviously we need more XP from doing missions and the like. And when I think you've got to level ten, then we can do all that. But anyway, uh, let's repair this. Um, yeah, let's repair it. Let's just repair it. Uh, let's repair final lap. So what we need to do is edit edit the track. There we go. Um, and the lovely thing with this is this is um, if you've never played the game before, this is the roller coaster. What's it called? Um, technically like a track builder, which is kind of cool. Um, and yeah, we've got oh hello, uh, we've got the track builder. And for this, because I haven't played the game in ages, um, I'm going to get Frillville beautifully to use the track assist. Um, so from where you are, basically, it will try and complete the track to there. So as you can see, the solution that that's found has completed the track. Um, so we've done that. Now, I think with final lap, we're going to get rid of it because we don't really want it there at the moment. Oh, it's needing the... Oh, okay, that's fine. It's needing the park for now. That's absolute. Have I saved? Yeah, fine, I've saved it. Um, but yeah, we, we'll keep that in the park for now. That's cool. Um, the one actually thing we can do to complete a mission is go over here and build a coaster. Now, one of these things I saw in the tutorial, it's always here. And yeah, we need to collect anti frillville ads that says Morty out, because obviously we don't want that going around the park. And yeah, we'll just get a pre-built roller coaster. Uh, let's go with that one, the wagon speeder for the moment. And yeah, let's... Yeah, okay, we'll delete tank frenzy. I'm not really too bothered about that at the moment. Um, and yeah, so... 
other things you can do is adjust the prices, ticket prices for the rides. It's very much similar to Roller Coaster Tycoon if you ever played that before. Um, so yeah, uh, so what are we going to do now? So let's have a look. We got we've done coaster to go. Uh, so we really we need to complete the yeah we need to complete the build missions probably first.